Original Dan Dada They bring the smoke, we all burn the fire Original Dan Dada They bring the smoke, me I burn the fire Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique and today we're checking out the new plugin from Baby Audio called Spaced Out. This is a reverb slash echo plugin that has a lot of unique features baked inside of it and I think you guys are really, really going to dig it. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Spaced Out from Baby Audio. This is Spaced Out on the screen right here. Uh, it's a really cool plugin. It's got some cool animations. If I hover over it right here, uh, you'll actually <laughs> see that Spaced Out logo get kind of trippy there. Another cool thing too, by the way, is if as I move this around, you'll see those balls trailing there. I think that's really cool. A really nice touch uh, just to make the visual aesthetic of the plugin work really well. And you can also change the color. So we got kind of like a day mode and a night mode. Just an overall really pleasing plugin to look at and it sounds even better. So what I did inside of this project is I actually used it at the end of the vocal here. And I'm going to come in here just to show you. And if I come in here to the automation up here at the top device on, you can see that it comes on just at the end right here. And listen to what it does uh, at the end of this vocal. So let me bypass it for a second. This is what the vocal sounded like before spaced out. And this is what it sounds like now with spaced out. They bring the smoke, me, I bring the fire. So that should give you an idea. It's a really unique device. Obviously, it's got a reverb there, but it's got a heavy flanger on it. And that's just one of the cool, unique things Space Out has to offer. All right, so what I have here are two synth hits. Uh, it's the same synth hit. It sounds like this. And I'm just going to use this so you can really hear the profile of the sound that comes out of Spaced Out. I'm going to go ahead and activate the plugin. And this is kind of the clean start default. So we got three main sections of the plugin. I can make it bigger. So that's what I'm going to do here. We've got the echo section, the kind of control section where you can get the dry wet and the mix between the echoes and the space section. Any one of these can be bypassed, or either one of these. If you click this button, I can bypass the echoes or bypass the space. So what I'm going to actually do is bypass the space. We're going to start over here on the left with the echoes. What we have here is a 16-beat grid. And any time we click inside of the grid, an echo will be triggered on that. And that has to do with the mode up here. We have straight timing, two times, dotted, or triplet. So depending on what mode you have, this is going to happen over the course of a bar. And it's actually pretty cool. If I click again, I'll actually have a less intense echo. And if I click it a third time, it's going to go ahead and not trigger the echo. So you can hear that the first, the initial hit happens, and then it triggers three times. And if I actually take my dry wet and move it over to 100 and 100, we're not going to hear that initial hit. We'll just hear the echoes. Over here on the intensity, we have our traditional feedback. And this is how long that feedback tail is going to happen over time. But we also have what's called sustain. And the sustain is the feedback for just this grid. So if I pull this down, you can hear how this one's loud and then it gets softer. And that's going to happen from the top and it's going to scan over from the left to the right over to the bottom. All right, so the sustain is just about the feedback essentially of the grid, and then the feedback is about how long that's going to happen over time. There is a generate for just the pattern inside of the grid. There's also a dimension control, and if I turn that on, we have ultra wide in motion. Off is going to be standard. Ultra wide is going to have a stereo field effect. Go ahead and turn down these just so we can get a really good sense of it without being overwhelmed there. And then there's also a motion which has a panning effect. And then we also have, let me turn this up, something like this. And then we have texture. So we got clean, wonky tape, lo-fi, and hazy. So 
So you can hear how each one of those textures has a different feel to the actual echoes themselves. It's very, very cool. And then there's a one button toggle switch for reverse. And then a filtering system with high pass and low pass values. Very straightforward, very, very cool. And it's really unique, the 16 step sequencer here. I've never seen that before, I don't think. It's really cool and gets some really interesting results. I'm gonna go ahead and bypass the echoes and jump over here to the space. Now the space is really, really cool. We actually have four different quadrants here. If I move into here, you'll see that it says cosmic. If you look down here, when I'm moving it around, it'll say length. So the further I go out to the edges of the circle, the longer it's going to be in length. And the four different quadrants or slices of the pizza here are different effects. So here is alien, here is trippy, here is lush, and here is cosmic. So let's just check these out. I need to go ahead and bring my dry wet over here, or actually we can probably bring down the wet a little bit. So that's just so massive. Let's bring, that's cosmic, let's bring it down to alien. So that's giving us that flanging effect. Let's bring it over here to trippy. And that also has a flanging phasing effect, which is a little bit more subdued than the other one. And then if I come over here to Lush, that sounds more like your traditional reverb. Up here at the top, we can actually change up the size. So we have length, okay? But then we can also change the room size from something like a vacuum, small space, medium space, and then outer space. We also have a traditional pre-delay. And again, I just love the menus and how they're non-traditional. And I'm actually gonna throw this on some drums in a minute here, so you can hear where that might play a bigger part, but you can hear the delay there. You can go up to, I think, 100 milliseconds here. And then there's the Stardust control. And Stardust creates a sort of high-frequency shimmering effect. And again, things like the Stardust control are gonna be more apparent on different sounds, and we're gonna throw this on some other sounds in a minute. Mellow is the same high pass, low pass filter system. Clean up will actually remove the lower muddy frequencies from the reverb and just make it a little bit cleaner and leave the higher end to really ring out over time. And then they have a dedicated width control for the stereo spread of that reverb. Over here, as I've already touched upon, this is a sort of XY pad where we can mix between the echoes and the reverb and mix between the dry and the wet signal. Over here, uh, and again, if you look, when I move this, it will show you the percentage. So right here is 100% wet on the reverb. Over here is 100% wet on the echoes. And then anywhere in between here is where we can mix between them. This will generate a preset for everything. And I spoke to the people at Baby Audio and they told me that this is actually an intelligent generation. It's, just, it's not gonna just put a bunch of random things in here. It's gonna give us essentially a random setting, but it's going to be something that should sound good no matter what, each and every time you press that button. And another cool thing to note here is if I've deactivated the echoes, it's gonna keep that deactivated no matter how many times I hit the generate button.
And then there's also a built-in Ducker system, which I think is phenomenal. And this is going to be more apparent on when we put it on something more complex like drums. But what this does is we'll dip the wet signal out of the way of the incoming dry signal. And it's just a way to keep things super clean, especially when you're putting your reverb, like a short reverb on your drum loop. There's also the liftoff, which actually engages a number of effects in the back end that collectively glues together the wet signals. So, you know, you've got a bunch of different things going on here. And what this is going to do is use compression, mid-side processing, and some joint EQing to really make those things cohesive and sound like it's just one effect instead of two or three different effects getting applied to the same signal. So for the most part, you're probably going to want to leave this on. quite a large range of what you can get out of Spaced Out. Let's go ahead and throw down some drums. So I'm gonna bring it down. Obviously I want a bunch more dry signal to this. So you can really hear the ducker in action there. Every time the kick or the snare happens, the wet signal of the reverb gets pushed out of the way. So you're not gonna muddy up your drums or make them sound any less punchy. It's really, really cool. And having a vacuum, which is a super short reverb on your drums, in combination with that ducker is really gonna sell your drums and just take them to the next level. So cool. So cool. So anyway, that's a very quick look at Spaced Out. I highly suggest you checking this thing out. It is obviously more than just a reverb and more than just an echo machine. It's got a lot of really key and cool, unique built-in features. And Baby Audio have been continually impressing me and the whole Plugin Boutique team with the quality of their plugins and just how unique they approach building these effects. It's really next level and I'm looking forward to seeing what else they come out with in 2021. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video. We are burn the fire Original Dandara They bring the smoke, me I bring the fire